So we want to take another look at a quadratic formula and we want to find out a few things about it. So we always want to know if there is a min or a max. So does it open up? Does it open down? And if it does, then what is that actual value? So when I look at this, I notice that the leading coefficient in front of the x squared is a 4. Well, that 4 is greater than 1, so we know it's going to open up. And if it opens up, then we have a minimum value. So we know we're looking for a minimum. And to find that minimum value, we have to find the vertex. So we're going to use the formula on the right-hand side to find the vertex. So I'm going to have to find the opposite of b. So our b is negative 16. And I'm going to take that over 2 times 4. So here it's going to be 16 over 8. So it's going to be 2. Now I need to find f of that value. So that means that's going to be my y value. So this is x. So then y is going to equal to 2 times, oops, sorry, 4 times 2 squared minus 16 times 2 plus 1,000. And this is going to be 4 times 4 is going to be 16 minus 32 plus 1,000. And that should give you 984. You may need to use your calculator to obtain that value. So that says that's going to be my minimum point. So that means that my vertex is actually going to be at 2, 984. Now, we need to find the domain and the range. Well, we can do that from here because we know the lowest y value and remember, all quadratic equations have what for the domain? Well, there's nothing in the denominator, so the domain is always going to be negative infinity to positive infinity. So that hasn't changed since we learned it last time. Now for the range, if I look at the picture that I drew, I can draw a little bit bigger one. This point down here is 2, 984. So that's my y value is 984. That's the lowest it can ever be. So it's going to include 984 and since it opens up, it's going to go to positive infinity, not including that.